Okay, a picture of three tomato plants. Uh, this one on the far left side is a mother plant and the one in the middle is a daughter plant of this mother plant, uh, which means this one was grown from the cutting of this plant. And the third one on the far right side is a granddaughter plant, which means it was grown from the cutting of this uh, daughter plant. And as you can see, it is uh, it is still is a cutting in water for rerooting, but has well developed roots and ready to go uh, into the pot. And if I do that, it will develop into a plant. However, there is a problem which is visible in the middle and this plant here. So this is a leaf curl disease here and here. I don't know if you can see it. This is the leaf curl disease. And I'll show you some other pictures and, and videos just to uh, show you the problem clearly and this is the reason that I've taken all the leaves off from this mother plant I ideally should have destroyed it but the plant had two small fruits when the disease was identified so I left it just to see if the fruit grows up uh, despite of the disease the daughter and granddaughter plants however are very less likely to produce any fruit or very little fruit uh, and it is advisable to kill such plants for two reasons. One, that you will, you will be wasting your time and resources and fertilizers and water and it is almost guaranteed that you'll uh, either have no fruit or very little fruit. Uh, the second one, which is the most important reason, you do not want a disease to spread to the other plants. There are two main reasons for leaf curl disease in tomato plants. One, uh, which is very rare is underfeeding or overfeeding with fertilizers which is not the case in this case uh, as i know that the disease was uh, transferred from a mother plant to daughter plant and from daughter plant to granddaughter plant uh, the other one which is the case in this uh, case is the tomato leaf curl virus the virus uh, belongs to a group of viruses which uh, cause a range of destructive plant diseases worldwide these viruses are constantly evolving and threatening crops in many parts of the world the tropical and subtropical regions in particular the tomato leaf curl virus are not transmitted in seeds uh, soil or from plant to plant by handling they stay in infected plants uh, some of which may be wheat plants that do not show symptoms the viruses are transmitted between plants by silver leaf white fly, silver leaf white fly, which is a pest in some parts of the world. I'll destroy both daughter and granddaughter plants, but want to see what happens to two small fruits in the mother plant. Uh, and I'll also destroy other plants that were rerooted or cloned, in other words, from any of these plants. And this is a video just to show you that uh, the disease is there without any doubt. See these uh, leaf curls uh, and the disease is very very uh, obvious here uh, in this view. It has well developed roots as you can see down below and uh, I'll show you another cutting and this one also has well developed roots was taken at the same time as the other cutting from a different plant though uh, reasonably healthy uh, roots and this is how the the roots should be it's completely ready to go into water uh, into the pot and this is how the leaves should be And this is the daughter plant, uh, diseased daughter plant outside in a pot which has grown uh, quite big and as you can see this is the disease here. So I'll have to destroy uh, both these uh, plants and the other plants that were taken from either from the mother plant or the daughter plants. Thank you very much.